Hello and welcome to Par Excellence Tutorials. Have you subscribed yet to the YouTube channel? If your answer is no, kindly do so. Subscribe and don't forget even to, to click on the notification bell so that each and every time I post a new video, you'll be among the first to get notified that the video has been uploaded. And also after watching this video, I would really appreciate if you can give me the feedback. Um, yeah, give me a feedback through comments, uh, like the video if it has really helped you. And then I'll, I'm going to appreciate. And if you need a tutor, I can tutor you in physics or mathematics, I'm the guy. <laughs> I'm the guy you can get in touch with me on the number that I've dropped in the description box. So in this video, we are dealing with circular motion. Yeah, we are dealing with circular motion. So a, you can pause the video and read the question. So question A, we are asked to find the, what is this angular speed of the flywheel, flywheel in radian a second? So we've been given, uh, this angular speed in in a rev per minute. So we have 200 rev per minute. Okay, so now we need to convert this rev per minute into radian per second, radians per second. So we know that one, one rev gives us or is equal to two pi radians, okay? And then we know that one minute gives us skist a second, okay? So with this conversion factor, we can be able to to convert 200 rev per minute into radians per second. So we're going to have 200 rev per minute multiplying by the conversion factor two pi rad per one rev. And then we also multiply by uh, one minute, uh, 60 seconds. Okay, so when we multiply that, So we see that the rev will cancel and that rev, the minute and the minute will cancel. And the angular, so this is omega and not w, okay? So the angular uh, speed of velocity is going to be 20.9, 20.9 rads per second. So this is how we we get A. And then our B, so our B from that side, we are told what is the linear speed of a point on the rim of the flywheel? Okay, so how do we get the, the linear speed? So we know that from uh, the definition, we know that linear speed is given by the radius times angular velocity. Okay, so we've already calculated the, the angular velocity in rads per second. And then we, we have been given the diameter in the equation. So we have that diameter in the equation. So we know that diameter equal to 
two radius, two times R, that's diameter. So radius is going to be diameter over two. And then we multiply by the omega. So that will be 1.2 meters, 1.2 meters over two. And we multiply by 20 point nine. So this is meters and that is rad per second. So what we get so when we when we multiply this we are going to get um, twelve point Six meter per second. So this is going to be our our linear our linear speed. So it will be twelve point six meter per second. Okay. So thank you so much for watching. Let's solve question C and question D in the next video. Yeah.